Hey everybody, it's Aneta and Mongo here with K-pop Oracles bringing you another K-pop tarot reading. Alright, so today we're going to be doing a love reading on Rose Day of Blackpink. Rose all day, right Mongo? Alright, so we're going to ask the usual questions and we'll, we shall dive right in. So, what, what is um, Rose Day's ideal type? What is Rose's ideal type? What is Rose's ideal type? What is Rose's ideal type? We have Ace of Pentacles. What is Rose's ideal type? We have two swords. What is Rosé's ideal type? Death. Alright. Alright, so with the death here, um, it can mean a Scorpio. <laughs> it could also mean someone from her past coming back into her life. So it could be someone she's known for maybe a bit and She's looking for, like, um, I feel like whoever this person is, I think she's maybe looking for a new beginning or a rebirth, I feel. Um, and also just stability, I feel. And she's also looking for someone who's, like, patient. Someone who isn't, like, really impulsive or try to rush into things. Um, someone who, like, will take things at a pace, you know, or this way, like, she wants a relationship that starts off at a pace. Like, she doesn't want to just, like, die right in light right away. Like, she wants someone who's going to, like, really, t like, go slow with her. So, it could be someone from her past that who maybe, I don't know, who knows what happened. But I feel like maybe she's looking for, like, a new beginning with this person. What else? What is Rosé's ideal type? What is Rosé's ideal type? Okay, we have Ein or On. What is Rosé's ideal type? Mother Mary. Alright, so she wants someone who isn't afraid to go after they, what they want with the On, Ein here. Um, someone who's ambitious. Someone who really goes after like what their heart desires. And... Mother Mary, she wants someone who is, you know, like an optimist, someone who's just like, um, you know, not like always like down in the dumps all the time, someone who's just like, um, has a lot of faith. I can also feel like maybe someone who's just like spiritual too with Mother Mary, um, someone who's just like always hope for like the best and everything, like doesn't always try to assume the worst with Mother Mary here. Um, so I feel like she's looking for someone who's spiritual, someone who goes after what they want in life, very ambitious, passionate about what they do, not someone who's kind of like, you know, just dead on the inside or just like a deadbeat person or something like that. She wants someone who's, um, like, yeah, just like really passionate. What else? What is Rosie's ideal type? What is Rosie's ideal type? No, no. That's my. Don't eat my card. <laughs> what is Rose's ideal type? Alright, we have official person. What else? What is Rose's ideal type? We have thief. Alright, so. Okay, so she's looking for someone, I feel like her ideal type is someone who's kind of like a, I feel like a well-known individual, I feel. So like, I mean, official person. It's just like someone who's like a high flyer, um, someone who's just like well-known by people, like a prominent figure or some sort. So it could be someone famous. And with Thief here, someone who's, I don't think it's like a, I think in a positive light, like I feel like someone who's just able to recover from loss, you know? Like, it could be money lost or 
um, just able to bounce back from any type of loss, I feel. So, like a, res a resilient person, someone who's just like determined to overcome obstacles. All right, so what is Rosé's uh, future partner like? What is Rosé's future partner like? No, no, come here. Mom, go! Don't eat my cards. Stay in my head. What is Rosé's future partner like? <laughs> What is Rosie's future partner like, Mungo? Ow. What is Rosie's future partner like? Okay, we have King of Swords. What is Rosie's future partner like? What is Rosie's future partner like? We have Five of Swords. What is Rosé's future partner like? What is Rosé's future partner like? Knight of Pentacles. All right. With the King of Swords here, um, it, it could be an air sign. It could be Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. This is someone who's kind of like cool as a cucumber. Like, he's very like, um, can be cold can be detached at times. Um, I think when you first get to know this person, like, I feel like it's, he's like, this person's like hard to like get to know. Like when you first meet them, like they just kind of um, are very like stony face. So this is someone who doesn't like really show their emotions. They may be like someone who just doesn't like not really expressive. Like it's hard for them to kind of show their emotions. Maybe they're just like really scared to show their emotions. Like, so this is someone who's, but at the same time, this person seems like very intelligent, very rational, very, you know, logical. Someone who just uses their head a lot in a lot of things. And the Five of Swords here kind of indicates to me like they, this person like has dealt with a lot of ups and downs in their life. I mean, this is part of like stress, conflict. So maybe they just had a lot of like conflicts with or enemies. Maybe it's just like dealt with a lot of like issues. Uh, or just like also maybe had some severe losses in their life or something like that. Um, but I think, um, once they, I guess when, once you get to really know this person, like, like they'll like warm up, like they, they're really slow to like, to react to things with the Knight of Pentacles here. Like it takes a while for them to open up and also just like, you know, show them their warm kind of fuzzy side. Um, so, but I feel like, um, once you get past this like kind of barrier, like, you would see like a really like you, you like beneath that barrier it's like someone who's just like loving and just like would want like want to give someone the world or something like that what else what is rose's future partner like what is rose's future partner like what is rose's future partner like We have twin flame so this could be a twin flame connection you know twin flames are like one of the most difficult like types of relationships because there's always that one person who's like giving one person who's just like um or, or yeah so one person who's giving always like putting in the effort and then one person who's just kind of like it's really hard for them to um kind of just give them their all you know in a connection what else what is Rosé's future partner like? We have travel. This is someone who likes to, you know, go places. They're adventurous. They're tr they like to travel. Um, just likes to just be out and about, I feel. Maybe they've just been to a lot of countries like a high roller you know to be able to go all these countries what else um so you know what would their relationship be like so what will rose's relationship with this person be like what will we oh. okay 
Okay, what will Rosé's relationship with this person be like? What will Rosé's relationship with this person be like? We have Ace of Swords. What else? What will Rosé's relationship with this person be like? We have Knight of Hazards. We have Death. Okay, so Death popping up again in this reading. Um, I think it, yeah, it popped up in the yeah the, when the first when I answered the first question. So um, it could be someone from our past. It could be someone who's like come back into our life and wanting to start something. And I feel like it's a relationship that starts off hella slow because the Knight of we have the Knight of Pentacles coming in again and just. Um, it's it's a slow I feel like it's gonna like it's a slow moving energy it could take like maybe months or even years for for this relationship to you know to develop into something serious like um I feel like both parties are just like not like really slow like it really takes a while for them to like um commit to some you know commit to somebody but I feel like in the connection there would be honesty there would be truth like I feel like they'd be like really honest with each other um, I feel like there would just be a lot of like mentally stimulating conversations between them. What else? What will Rosé's relationship with this person be like? What will Rosé's relationship with this person be like? What will Rosé's relationship with this person be like? Attraction. Yeah, there's a lot of, I feel like the, there's like a strong like physical and also like maybe possibly emotional, mental connection there. Um, I feel like there might be a lot of chemistry there. What else? What will Rosé's relationship with this person be like? What will Rosé's relationship with this person be like? Separation. So it, this can mean a few things. It can mean like they'll spend a lot of time apart from each other or there's just going to be a lot of maybe it, it could be an on and off type of relationship or it could just mean that um, or it can mean like they like I feel like they might end up breaking up or something like that. So it could be like, a, yeah, it just seems like a kind of a, kind of turbulent type of relationship or something. What else? OK, so what's going to be. Um, the outcome of their relationship. What's going to be the outcome of Rosé's relationship with this person? What will be the outcome of Rosé's relationship with this person? What will be the outcome of Rosé's relationship with this person? Three of Swords. What will be the outcome of Rosé's relationship with the person? What will be the outcome of Rosé's relationship with this person? Uh, King of Cups. What will be the outcome of Rosé's relationship with this person? Page of Cups. Okay, so I feel like it's a relationship where there's like I feel like it's a be a really emotional type of relationship because these cups here, uh, Page of Cups is a like a card of love, a message of love. So I feel like um, it would start off slow moving and also just like um, I feel like they'll re like I feel like they'll express their love for one another, um, but I think it would it might end up in heartbreak or separation or betrayal. I mean, the three of swords is not a great card to get in a re like a love reading because it usually means, you know, not so great things. It can mean separation. It can mean a third party situation. It could be like there might be external forces that would try to pull them apart. And 
I feel like the, like the love they have for each other would be strong, but then I feel like there's just someone or something that's gonna like might tear them apart. What else? What would be the outcome of their relationship? What will be the outcome of Rosé's relationship with this person? Unavailable. What will be the outcome of Rosé's relationship with this person? Decision. All right, so... I feel like what unavailable and decision, I feel like someone or maybe both parties would just have a, like, wouldn't be able to kind of give to the other person right away, you know? I feel like it's gonna, there's some external forces, I feel, with the three of swords here that might might drive them apart, um, kind of make, like make them, like, get, make them, um, you know, like separate, like, or make them want to, like, part ways or something like that, or or just like cut off ties completely i feel so um so it might it might be a short-lived kind of connection i feel um but it feels like you know i feel like the feelings would be strong with these two cups here king cups and page of cups uh, like it would be like a, an emotional bond but then i feel like there's something that might threaten the relationship anyway <laughs> So that's all I have for you. If you enjoyed this reading, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button. I'm also on Twitter, so you can follow me at kpoporacles1. Okay, until next time. Thank you. Bye.